Oh, get out! Get out to him, that's it. I started coaching sports in 1969, and we basically had some of the worst conditions. Our school was decrepit, it was very, very old, from 1905 or whatever it was at 8th and Lehigh. We, uh, there were no grass fields. Whenever we had track or football practice, we had to go out to 29th and Clearfield to practice, put the kids on a bus. The equipment was very scarce. The kids were pretty good. They, they came, they wanted to play. First of all, off the court, Mr. Rat was so patient and poised. You know, he used to sit us down in our office, talk to us about, you know, not just basketball, but real life. And I can confine him, Mr. Rat. I was going through some problems at home, struggling, family problems. I could find him, Mr. Rat. He would give me, you know, good answers and, you know, help me deal with my, my real life situation. Brad has always been an overall good guy. He always had my back. He always been there for me. I mean, I'm glad I had, I'm glad I had Mr. Brad in my life. I'm glad I met Mr. Brad. He treated me like a son, like real close to him. And I thank him for that. Love Coach Brad. I think he the only one put me in my, put me in my place. My people is, um, Going through a lot, he helped out. He wanted to go to school, college, anything, he helped out. I mean, he's a good man. I, I love Mr. Wright. He was a genuine coach. You know what I mean? He, he pretty much cared a lot for the um, for the kids, you know, here at the school or whatever. He was a basketball coach, but he cared more about your well-being and, um, and, and you succeed in life. Brad, he's a he, he was one of the best coaches that I ever was around. One of the best. He's a class act, class act guy. And he took care of me while I was here. He wanted me, he, he talked to me, he wanted me to be aggressive. He always used to say little key things to me to make me play hard. I can go on and on and on about Coach Rack. Uh, uh, very dear to me. Uh, he was really influential. And uh, a lot of the things that I've done uh, in life and uh, while I was in high school, uh, my father, he always been a part of my life, and uh, he's a great person. But Rat, uh, Monday through Friday, you know, from eight to two o nine or eight to five o'clock was my dad, and uh, you know, we had a lot of talks. We ate lunch together. Um, I used to get teased by because I spent a lot of time with him. But uh, you know, he always challenged me, man, with my vocabulary, different things, man. So he played a, a influential role in, in, in my life. Our kids were tough. But I think, you know, kids at Franklin were tough, kids at Dobbins were tough. Most of the inner city schools, we, we, had, we had tough kids that they wanted to play hard. They listened to you. You know, if you cared about the kids, they gravitated to what you were doing. And it was fun. There are a lot of individual cases where the young men have individual problems that arise from either their neighborhood or a family situation. And you have to be very flexible and be able to bend and to help them out any way you can so that they can just get through the, the week, the season. And I worked very hard to do things the right way, to teach them the right way to play the game, to be honest about the game of basketball. These are the things that I hope that people remember me by.